it's hard to believe now that it's almost been two years, y'all, since the initial trailer for the AEW video game was released, you know, with the Darby Allen versus Jungle Boy match and the super swoleness of Chris Jericho, but that's neither here nor there. But thanks to Arisha Stream, hosted by Evil Uno and the greatness of Adam Cole, Bay Bay, we do have some recent news and yeah, let's go. Now, the game will be called AEW Fight Forever. They did show off some new gameplay with Nyla Rose and Chris Statlander. They also did confirm that Aubrey Edwards will be in the video game as well. And they did create a new engine for, like, specifically for referees. So, it'll be kind of interesting to see, you know what I'm saying, Aubrey's and a couple of the refs interaction with things like that and how the match go. Something else that I found real interesting was the fact that they are going with, like, more of the 3D models for the crowd instead of, like, the flat animation that they usually do for their crowd animations and thank god but um another thing with that is i've been to a few aw shows and like tony kind of come out there and kind of have the crowd make noise you know what i'm saying for like specific wrestlers and stuff like that so they are going to kind of use like actual real crowd noise inside the video game so i think that does sound interesting and i do want to see how it plays it was also announced that the expected roster size is supposed to be about 50 which, you know, I'll get to that in a second. But um, they did announce that CM Punk, Sting, Brian Danielson, they will be included in the video game. And not only that, the late great Owen Hart will also be a player of the character inside the AEW video game. Which is cool considering they are doing the Owen, Owen Hart Foundation Cup, you know what I'm saying, tournament right now. So it's just good to see him getting the shine. And look, although we miss him in the ring, you know what I'm saying, Kenny Omega, he's been healing up, but he has not been using that time lightly. He has been mostly using his time at Ux, helping with the development of the video game, which kind of transitions me into the bad of what's been going on behind the scenes. So, piggybacking off the roster point, like I said, there's only supposed to be 50 playable characters in the base game and I think they have like over a hundred and something like signed to the roster right now at the point so we'll see now AEW does want to add characters you know via DLC post game you know and things like that because for them since this game is not going to be like a yearly release they figured it'd be best you know what I'm saying to just give us which I'm cool with that model however Ukes on the other hand they don't want to do that because AEW has not signed a long-term contract to make you the, you know what I'm saying, the game developer for them in the future. So right now it looks like 50 is probably what we're going to get like off top unless they come to some type of agreement. Now the reason for a lot of that bad bug is the fact that there is like a lot of tension between Kenny Omega and some of the video game developers because according to reports, the video game developers are kind of like kind of big time in Kenny Omega like treating him like he doesn't know what he's doing look I understand it's y'all been as y'all company but Kenny Omega is responsible for getting one of the main directors from Akai Studios that made the WWF No Mercy engine to agree to help with the engine of the video game so to be honest with you youths the last couple of years y'all track record ain't been too hot so if y'all smart Y'all would listen to this man, considering y'all basically using his engine, and just use those tips to help update, just make the game better. Because, like, graphically, they already said they're not going for, you know what I'm saying, the most realistically looking game. Their thing is gameplay. So, as long as you get the gameplay right, I can kind of look over the fact that, you know, Nyla Rose looked like the frog that Bart had something when he was at Wizard School. Like, right now, graphically, it just looked like some WWF Battlegrounds type stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, like, once again, another thing is the fact that another reason that AEW does not want to sign a long-term deal with Ukes is because of who will have ownership of the engine. Now, if Ukes has any percentage of ownership for the engine, then this is basically going to be a one and done deal and AEW is going to be out and they're going to have to find somebody else to make their future video game title. So, I mean, look, I don't know. I have medium expectations for it. I just want the game engine to run smoothly. It's their first video game and I get it. But considering the fact that they said this game is way over budget and they have to like invest more money into it because, you know, there's features that Kenny wants in the game that either have to be added or taken out 
or it's going to be limited to some capacity because like i said the game just like way over budget and it's just it's not sounding too hot right now to be honest especially considering the fact that the game is supposed to have a september release of 2022 and with there's being issues with like there needs to be tons of work on other character models and considering the one that we've seen so far and how they look I don't know. Might as well say this game's coming out in 2023, hopefully, and you know we could just go from there. But if all these reports are true, though, it's just crazy considering that Ux was the one that kind of blamed 2K as the reason why the recent you know WWE video games came out the way they were. So if this is the case, I just find it flabbergasting that they are basically doing the same thing to you know Kenny Omega, AEW, and like the director of the Aki engine, oh, no mercy was just, just chef's kiss, it was so awesome. Look man, overall, I really just want a fun game with the most awesome, awesome no mercy gameplay in 2022, that's all I want, that's that's it, that's all I asked for. Now, uh, look, gameplay wise, it still looks a little bit wonky for the most part, but like I said, it's an alpha, this is their first game, and my fingers is crossed and I'm holding out hope for the best, but it sounds like Kenny Omega needs to just go around and V-trigger the shit out of a lot of people in that office right now. But what are y'all thoughts on the AEW Fight Forever video game news? You know, like the video, share the video, subscribe. Let me know who are some of the people you're looking forward to playing with in the video game. And who do you think will be some of the biggest omissions that do not make it and that will piss a lot of people off? I got a, I got a couple few off the top of my head, but... I'll let y'all know. Man, like I always, appreciate y'all for watching this video, man. And One Wing Angel is out.